Bubbles. What seems such inert, naturally occurring phenomena have quite a powerful relationship with sound. Bubbles can generate, absorb, and re radiate sound. Here's an experiment you can do at home to show how bubbles can slow down the speed of sound. Here, I am making a cup of coffee using instant powder and water boiled from a kettle. Listen as I tap the base of the mug and see if you notice anything different or anything changing as I'm tapping. Have another listen. Do you notice how the pitch of the sound from the tapping rises over time? Why does that happen? Is it the powder? The water? Or maybe it's the mug? The answer relates to bubble acoustics and is more affectionately known as the hot chocolate effect. Why does water bubble when it's boiling? It's because there is air dissolved in the water and it comes out of solution when the water gets hot enough and forms bubbles. You can watch our other video about the science of sound associated with boiling water in a kettle by clicking on the link above. When we mix the coffee granules with the boiled water, we get bubbles forming at the solid particles, and some of those bubbles rise quickly and form the foam at the top. If we were to tap the base of the glass at intervals during the time it takes for all the other bubbles to rise, we get that rise in pitch. I can stir the liquid in the glass to reintroduce the bubbles from the top back into the main body of liquid and start the process over again. One way of calculating the speed of sound is to multiply the frequency of a sound wave by its wavelength. We use C to represent the speed, F for the frequency and the Greek letter lambda for the wavelength. The tone of the sound is generated by the liquid and the length of the column of it in the glass. The speed of sound in water is more than four times faster than the speed in air. After we've mixed up the granules and created all the bubbles, there are lots of compressible air pockets in the liquid. This causes the speed of sound in the liquid to decrease. As time passes, those buoyant bubbles start to rise to the top. This makes the liquid in the glass clearer, with fewer compressible pockets in it. This increases the speed of sound. If the column of liquid doesn't change, neither does the wavelength. However, the speed of sound does change. Therefore, it is the frequency that must change, in order to balance the equation, which we observe as a rise in the pitch of sound. Why not send us a video of you trying this experiment in your home? You can tweet us at ISVR Southampton. Have fun!